Doctors and nurses who work for one of the biggest health care providers in our community want some answers. They reached out to Channel 11 News, concerned that elective surgeries continue, even as public leaders say they should stop in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Channel 11's Amy Hudak joins us live tonight with more on this. Amy, walk us through what they shared with you and how UPMC responded. Well, David, it's important to note that these are really unprecedented times. Entire hospitals are grappling with the best decisions to make for the community while balancing the safety of their employees and the pain that some of these patients are going through. I had a chance to talk to about a dozen different doctors and nurses with UPMC today. They say they are worried about some of the um, steps UPMC is and isn't taking, including continuing elective procedures and some routine appointments. Countless healthcare workers on the front lines of COVID-19 emailed us, sent messages, and called. One person gets sick, we're all going down. We're hiding the identity of this nurse who fears she'll lose her job with UPMC. She works at a specialist office and says business is as usual, despite Pennsylvania's governor, the Surgeon General, in the health department urging hospitals to end elective surgeries. We were sent out a med, um, an email saying that if we don't, if they don't keep doing elective procedures, that it, there would be a backlog later. She fears money is being prioritized over public health. One of her colleagues who sees patients routinely became ill and is now being tested for the coronavirus. It's, it's going to go downhill if they're not taking this seriously. Medical professionals have been outspoken about their experiences on a national group chat for physicians. A UPMC surgeon says he performed 12 cataract surgeries in one day on elderly men and women with multiple medical problems. He says visitors were allowed, adding unbelievable disregard of public health safety. An OBGYN wrote, appointments are routine and elective surgeries are continuing. Neurologists, speech pathologists, dermatologists, even sports medicine doctors say they're being encouraged not to cancel non-emergency appointments, despite global efforts to flatten the curve. We took their concerns to UPMC, the hospital chain, which is doing a lot of great work to fight the spread of COVID-19 in our community, says elective doesn't mean unnecessary. We also are not stopping everything that some folks may call elective, but we don't see them as elective. We don't see mom delivering babies as elective. We don't see cancer patients necessarily as elective. UPMC says hour by hour, they're reassessing their practices and working with doctors and patients, many of whom are in pain, to determine which procedures can be delayed. These are un, untold times. We've never experienced anything like this. We are doing everything we can. We did reach out to several local hospital groups in the area. We heard from Allegheny Health Network, Heritage Valley, and Excella Health. Those three hospital groups say they have discontinued all elective procedures and surgeries. And again, these are UPMC doctors and nurses that we talked to. They say they have nothing but respect for their colleagues who are fighting COVID-19 on the front lines, but they felt it was necessary to speak out with some of the concerns they are seeing. If we hear of any policy or procedure changes by UPMC, we will let you know on air and online. We're live tonight. Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.